Hi and welcome back to Sailing With Us. Last episode we uh, adjusted the tappets on our Volvo Penta 2002. This time we're going to be doing some preventive maintenance, uh, just checking the thermostat is opening when it should do. Um, won't be a long video so if you're interested in that sort of thing, come and watch it. Last season it was noted that steam was coming from our exhaust skin fitting, especially when the engine was under heavy loads. The thermostat's located at the front of the engine underneath this housing but before we start doing any work we need to shut off the seacock for the engine cooling, cooling water system. The housing's held in place by these two 13mm screws however I'm going to take this one out as well which I think is part of the lifting bracket for the engine just so it makes it easier to um, rotate the pump housing to get it loose. I'm expecting to some uh, water to leak here as I loosen these so don't be alarmed. That's it, and the inside there is the thermostat. Looks like I need to replace that rubber gasket anyway. Good find. So with an old gasket scraper I'm going to clean up the, uh, the mating faces and then I've got a secret weapon that I've actually borrowed from my dear wife to uh, give it a little spruce up. I'll show you in a second. So the wife doesn't actually know I've borrowed this but it's um it's a little miniature steam cleaner, I suppose you call it, for cleaning the grout in bathroom tiles and things like that. But I thought this could be a useful tool for doing my engine with. We're up to temperature. I've covered the uh, alternator with a plastic bag. Let's give it a go, see what happens. Now I'd say that was a success. A little bit of Volvo Penta green paint on there and it'll look as good as new. So back to thermostat testing. As we can see the gasket's gone and we just need to make sure this is opening at the correct temperature. Let's see if I can do this one-handed but I've got to try and get the uh, thermostat out of the housing. Right, I'm going to have to put you down for a minute. Well, that's the thermostat out. The, uh, the opening range should be on this cover here, so I'll clean it all up. We'll put it in a uh, saucepan and check what the, uh, the range is. So I've cleaned up the mating surfaces within the thermostat housing. Next thing to do is try and uh, clean this up. It might be beyond repair. On the end is the, um, the temperature reading, uh, what it should open at, but I uh, can't actually read it at the moment. And a quick scrape there it actually says uh, 60 degrees centigrade, 140 uh, old money Fahrenheit. Rather than mess around cleaning up this old one, I decided to uh, bite the bullet and splash out on a new one. It comes with uh, it's a kit, and it comes with a, uh, a new seal anyway, which I needed. Before reinstalling uh, the new thermostat. There's the temperature rating on there. I thought I'd uh, see what temperature I'd actually open at, and indeed, was the old one broken? So I put them in a pan of water. I'll gently warm them up, and there's a thermometer at the back just to uh, prove what the opening temperature is. As they open, you should start to see a gap appear around this area here. That's uh, 50 degrees, nothing happening yet. At 58, I think, just starting to uh, 
The gap's just starting to appear there. That's it, 60 degrees, and they're fully open. On closer inspection, the new thermostat is fully opened, but the old one has only opened halfway. Hopefully we've found the cause of the steaming exhaust. We're all tested, let's uh, put it back together and uh, give it a try, test for leaks. Oh, it's all back together, engine's running, and it looks very dry, so we'll call that a success. Just need to uh, get some green paint on it. Well that was a useful piece of preventive maintenance and uh, looking as good as new. Uh, thanks for watching guys, see you next time. Just a word of warning to any boat widows out there. Before you wave goodbye to your other half on their boat trip, please check that no home equipment, for example saucepans or DIY steamers, have been borrowed for inappropriate use. Also, please note the next YouTube video will be far more interesting with sun, sand and plenty of rum punch. By the way, fantastic. <laughs>